sigue Corona, pasa entre uno, entre dos, entre tres, media luna, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, golazo. You ever put Haritos in your orange juice? Oh, yeah! Bienvenidos chicos and welcome to the 84 Europa League Road to the Final 84 rated Jesus Corona Episodia. This is a card that we were expecting yesterday. EA, somewhere along the lines, one of the uh, social services um, I... uh, leaked this card uh, and many of us were expecting it. We didn't know if it was going to come today or possibly at a later date. But alas, we do get ourselves this 84 Road to the Final Europa League uh, Jesus Corona. Now, the main question that everyone is asking when these cards come out, especially when it's I don't want to say a small club because Porto are a uh, a pretty big club in Liga Nos. But uh, one of the main things that uh, people want to know is with these live cards, how likely is it that this guy is going to get an upgrade? How likely is it he's going to get an 85, an 86 rated version of the card? Well, uh, I went on Twitter and I said, my Liga Nos Porto bros, how likely is it that they're going through? Um, Porto are having a shocker, so it's more than likely they'll get knocked out of the group stage. I believe they need six points versus uh, fixtures against Feyenoord and then Young Boys. So Young Boys shouldn't be a problem, uh, but Feyenoord could be a big, big problem indeed. So a couple, even a couple Porto guys who are like diehard Porto supporters were saying, um, being realist, it's impossible. Porto playing like shit. The team is disappointing nowadays. It's a shame. It's probably the worst year we've ever had in Porto is turning uh, Porto is turning into AC Milan sad times. Okay, so Fastfield, my man, he's been in the stream a bunch. He's been a supporter for years. He says it's probably the worst year we have ever had. We are shit. Uh, Tiago Oliveira says never in a million years when you play Alex Tells at CV. Okay, so... Um yeah, it doesn't look likely that Porto are going to go through, but again, crazier things have happened. And you want to know what? Just for the fact that they, uh, even if this card doesn't go through, even if Porto don't go through, I think you could still make a strong case that this card could be worth it. He's like 15k, it's an 82 rated squad, he's 5 star, 5 star, so he's really, really fun to use, I would imagine. Um, and then he has some pretty decent stats. It's a 100 total in-game stat upgrade over his base card. Uh, and then, obviously, he's not a finisher, doesn't have great um, shooting stats, but he does have really nice attacking positioning. He's got some nice passing stats. Again, nothing Nothing really end game and then in terms of pace he's got really really good acceleration sprint speed leaves a little bit to be desired and then he's got some pretty interesting agility stats and then 79 stamina so all all in all not a great 84 rated card you're kind of hoping that he gets himself that upgrade again it's super super cheap there's really no there's really no reason not to do it it's just a really really cheap card uh and then he obviously has the five star five star which is a big attractor as well now of course we had to pair him alongside carlos vela we've got hector herrera who is going to be coming out in place of schweini we've got him on the bench ready to come on and then raul jimenez who are currently uh who is obviously playing for watford also a europa league road to the final card now maybe that is the question of the episode yeah i haven't been tracking europa league too heavily uh do watford have a good chance of going through you guys let me know in the comment section below, uh, section below i put a hawkeye chem style on him and it, for being an 83 he actually looks like a really really cool card 86 attacking positioning same as jesus corona he's got 85 sprint speed we jacked off that acceleration so he's up to 80 on that 90 sprint speed 85 stamina very solid and then 82 composure so a very decent looking card and the moment i saw that jesus corona i knew i had to pair him alongside jimenez and carlos vela for the mexican bros also just want to kind of Put it out there in my second 50k pack on the main, which is what we're playing on right now. I packed Sadio Mane, who just goes for 1.7 million coins. So we're good. We're Gucci. Like I always say, boys, if these epis help you figure out in some way, shape, or form, if you want to do Jesus Corona, if you maybe want to pick up uh, a Raul Jimenez, I'm definitely going to hold on to them because, you know, who knows? Worst case scenario, these guys turn into 84, 85 rated cards. Um, but like I always say, boys, if, if these help you uh, figure out if you want to pick up one of these cards or not, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring on two old guys. I'm going to bring on Mascherano and Schweini for, uh, for Chambo and Hector Herrera. Who's Tecatito? Sigue Corona, pasa entre uno, entre dos, entre tres, media luna, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Uno, entre dos, entre tres, media luna, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. The Mexican boys. The Mexican boys OP. 
1-0, vamos tío. Raul Jimenez gets on the board and he's gonna do the big man with Mane, Vela, and Bates. Come on! Come on, who is that? Um, I... Carlos Vela is a myth. Mm -hmm. It's gotta make that. It's gotta be in. Jesus Manuel Corona. He's 26 years old. Is there anything cool? Personal life? Corona was given the nickname. Here we go. Her, Corona was given the nickname uh, Tecatito during his early days at Monterrey. The name is in reference to the beer brand Tecate, as his surname is the name of the beer company. Oh, yeah. Wait, Corona. Wait, what? Hold on. As his surname is the name of the beer company that is considered a competitor to Cuauhtemo, Cuauhtemo Moctezuma Brewery, which owns Tecate and was a club sponsor and the logo subsidiary, Carta Blanca. Interesting. He's got 85 sprint speed. We jacked off that acceleration, so he's up to 80 on that. The squad has kind of underperformed, but I think that's probably uh, that, that, that's probably a byproduct of me playing uh, him in as out of position. I think Vela, we we you legitimately need to play him to suit his weak foot, or else you're at such a massive disadvantage because he's got the two star weak and nothing goes in. Sigue Corona, pasa entre uno, entre dos, entre tres, media luna, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. There we go, Tecatito. Tecatito and Raul Jimenez. Raul Jimenez is there to clean it up. A beautiful little run, to be honest with you. Felt very, very rapid. A, a, a nice send from Carlitos Vela over to uh, Tecatito. And then Tecatito with the body fade. is not able to put it through. Obviously, he doesn't have incredible finishing. But it's the five-star, five-star you would expect him to put it through. Um, but alas, he is not able to do it. And then Raul Jimenez is there to clean it up with the, uh, with the, uh, with the bicycle kick, man. Come on, boys. Will find Rossi. Now Urenia wants it. Will he get it? Carlos Vela's making a run. If he plays in this, could be it. Carlos Vela! Let's go, boys! Do you know that what was the result? 3 0. I'm sorry, what? 3 0. Do you know what this means? We get two goals from Raul Jimenez. We get a goal from Carlitos Vela. And then Jesus Corona chips in, I believe, with nothing. Um, I... He gets a 7.5 and has done nothing. Dribbles completed six out of six. I mean, that's, I, that's his one claim to fame in this match. Crosses, passes completed four out of five, and then dribble six out of six. So near perfect in terms of passing and dribbling. Um, interesting. I, I, I would have expected to feel a little bit more with him. That's what she said. Yikes. Wait, what was that skill I just did? Carlos Vela. Dude, don't let anyone ever tell you that I'm not a skiller, dude. I know I didn't really display it there, but don't let anyone ever fool you into being convinced that I'm not a skiller. I'm one of the best skillers in FIFA 20. <laughs> Ooh, Tecatito! Take a bow, son! Tecatito takes us up 2-0. Come on, bro. The f Dude, he's first off, he's tiny, so he's got that low center of gravity. His agility is amazing. Um, but more than anything, man, the five-star, five-star, dude, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is probably one of the more fun cards. I know that's our, that's our only first, that's our first goal. Legitimately, legitimately our first goal contribution uh, using Tecatito. But, um, bro, what a fun card to use, dude. We'll find Rossi. Now Urenia wants it. Will he get it? Carlos Vela's making a run. If he plays in this, could be it. Carlos Vela! Carlos Vela, you know he makes that. He's got one of the best left feats in the game, dude. Carlitos Vela is not going to miss that. Come on, boys. Legitimately do not care about scoring goals or even doing whatever with this card. 
using his skills, and, like, I know there's a bunch of cards in the game that, like, I could just pick up a five-star skiller or whatnot, but... Dude, this has been the this has been a lot of fun. He's got 85 sprint speed. We jacked off that acceleration, so he's up to 80 on that. Can you do skilled moves like this? Good goal. There we go. That's a nice little finish. Uh, I believe that's the hot chem style that we have affixed him. That's probably going to let him do that. And we get our second goal with Jesus Corona. And does, what does he have on his... Does he have a, a kiss tattoo on his neck? Raul Jimenez gets one. Vela gets one. Schweini gets one. And then Carlos Vela chips in with another two goals, proving that he just still might be... Still might be the best Mexican player in all of Ultimate Team. Now, match rating, uh, Jesus Corona gets himself an 8.9, which is good for third on the team uh, alongside his Mexican compatriots in form of Jimenez and Vela. Uh, and if I'm being honest with you... The fact that this card cost 15k not only felt really good to complete because it's really, really cheap, but he's got 5-star, five 5-star, five and that's why you get the card. It's a first owner objective. If if there's a Liga Nos season objectives that require, um, you know, using um, whatever, like, I don't know, four first owner or assisting with a first owner Liga Nos player or something like that, Jesus Corona fits the bill. Uh, he's Mexican as well, so if there's a Mexican um, season objective, uh, it fits that bill as well. And then he's 5-star, five 5-star, five and then he actually is one of the better Liga Nos uh, wingers in the game. And um, for that reason, I am going to give him a 5 out of 5 in terms of fun rating. Value, you already know what it is. It's a 5 out of 5. It's dirt cheap with a possibility to upgrade as well. And then on the pitch performance, I am going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. It's lacking some top-end stats. But like I said, it is, uh, it's an upgrade away from being a pretty fun... Uh, it's an upgrade from being a pretty wild card. Not a top end by any means, right? Because it's 84 rated, even if he goes to an 85. But um, is uh, is an upgrade is an upgrade or two away from being a pretty nutty nutty card with that uh, with that five star five star combo. But that's gonna do it, boys, for the road to the final Europa League. Jesus Tecatito Corona. We found that out in this epi that his nickname is Tecatito. But um, yeah, very very fun little second upload of the day. Promised you guys a double upload today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. We'll catch you guys on stream tonight for 15 games of weekend league on the rtg uh drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below till next time my bros choose later adios he's got 85 sprint speed we jacked off that acceleration so he's up to 80 on that